Well, hello everybody. How are we? Gareth Lahine, or Life of Girk. Back today in one of my favorite counties in Ireland, the Kingdom, down on the Dingle Peninsula. And behind me, if you can see it, is Mount Brandon. Well, I'm on Mount Brandon. I'm heading towards the summit for an owl wild camp. It is coming towards the end of January. It's pretty cold, but I've got plenty of new gear. Picked up a new sleeping bag. So I'm hoping it won't be very cold, but I am expecting it to be cold. So the route I'm taking to get to the summit is pretty straightforward. As you can see here, all them white pins and this route is the pilgrimage route so there is some crosses on the way up also there's a couple routes up to the summit from what i've read this is the shortest don't know how long it's going to take me <sighs> there's a lot of weight in my back i brought extra camera gear tonight <sighs> hoping i could get some pictures of the stairs if the clouds move please <laughs> lads i am buzzing the top sea is off, lads. And if I told you I wasn't feeling it in my glutes, I'd like be black garden. Oh, my glutes are after hopping out of the fireplace. Oh, so I'm cracked though, isn't it? <laughs> underly, underly, und -un -un Look at this. What a view, like. Some country, isn't it? Oh, some country. <laughs> what time is it? A wub -bub -bub -bub. I'm really starting to feel this now. This has probably been the toughest climb for wild camping I've done yet. Tallest as well, I think this is like 934 meters tall, this mountain. Tough. So, I'm really submerged in the cloud now. Small bit of blue there. Starting to get cold as well, but I have to keep moving. And I have that kind of sense of, what's the word I'm looking for? Not fear, but I'm kind of here on top of the mountain all by myself. Can't see a thing. Going sleeping up here. <laughs> I'm buzzing. <laughs> I've been walking all day. And I'm nearly done I see by your gravestone You were only 19 Woo! 934 meters, I think Mount Brandon Yeah! Oh my god, it's cold Oh my god How am I going to sleep up here tonight? <laughs> Another mountain ticked off the list Oh my god, it's so cold. What the fuck? <laughs> so here's the new sleeping bag, snug pack. Its comfort zone is 5 degrees to minus 20, I think. There's the sleep, the tent, sorry. <laughs> it's cold. I'm after putting on two more layers, hat, neck warmer. Oh my god, I underestimated this. This is going to be a challenge. But I'm looking forward to it. Like it's the, it's the highest I've camped. Longest distance I've walked and camped. I'm excited. Be lovely if the clouds were clear, but look, we can't get them all. We can't get all the beautiful sunsets and sunrises. This comes with it a lot of the time, especially when you're at the taller peaks, but it's, I need to get camp set up before it gets dark. So. Okay, guys, I don't know, can you see me? There's a bit of water on my lens, because the fog, but um, I found a place to set up camp here. Um, the peak is up there, but it's too exposed to the wind, so here is nice. It's 
so cold. My hands are just kind of, I need to keep my hands warm because if your hands get cold, that's not good. Um, so I'm gonna get this tent set up and um, I'll chat to you then, all right? Okay, so that took me a lot longer than I expected. The tent was blown all over the place, Jesus. So it's all set up here now. Give you now a look inside. Uh, so I'm gonna get the sleeping bag in now. Then I'll get the mattress in and then I am going to cooking some pasta. Okay guys, so I'm all set up here in the tent. The ground is freezing. So I'm gonna get this mattress blown up so I can warm my arse. Oh my God, I am in for a cold night ahead. I have an old book to read, so I'm excited. It's a little adventure. As I said in my last video, when you come wild camping, like you're forced to survive. As stupid as that may sound, like in a mountain in Ireland, you're still up here. It's your home for the night, so you have to be safe, make sure everything's okay, and do your best to be comfortable. It's not going to happen at all times, but extra clothes to keep me warm, so. So it's five o'clock, it's two degrees as well. You're wondering how I keep occupied. This man has changed my life. I've never met him, but doing his breath work and cold exposure has changed my life. I'm not gonna ramble on about it. Look him up, Wim Hof, if you don't know him. I don't know how to explain it into words, but changed me as a person. Yeah. If anyone wants to look it up, Wim Hof. But I have a bit of pasta there. A few more Jaffa cakes. I'm probably not gonna get much sleep because it's cold and it's windy. <laughs> but you know what? I'm gonna enjoy this as much as I can because not often you get to do this sort of stuff, you know? So I don't know if you can see me, but for dinner tonight, five star dinner, we've got pasta and chicken tikka! Woohoo! Oh yeah! <laughs> I'm so cold. <clears throat> I'm gonna cook up a storm here, lads. <laughs> okay, guys, so as you can see, it's pretty windy. It's also dropped to one degrees outside. I'm starting to feel it, so. I'm getting into the sleeping bag. I'm gonna try and get a bit of sleep. It's just gone half eight. And all we can do is pray that there'll be a good sunrise in the morning. So, signing off for now, TTYL. Good morning, everybody. How are we? I've been better. I'm freezing. Well, I'm not too bad. My sleeping bag held up very well. I'm very impressed. But my tent, the outside of the sleeping bag, the floor of the tent, everything is soaked. I think that's from the fog and the cloud outside just sitting there all night and the, it just kind of stuck to it and it's just dripping wet now. But there's not much I can do about that. Um, didn't have a great night's sleep and there's no sunrise outside. It's just gotten 8 o'clock so there's not much point in me waiting up here. There's not going to be no sunrise. I might just pack up, make shapes. TTYL out of here, you know? Uh, look, you win some, you lose some. You can't have them all. I'm here to show you what it's like to go on an adventure solo while camping, so it's not always gonna be beautiful sunrises and sunsets. Sometimes you have the poor conditions which you have to push through and you have to be comfortable in. Um, so yeah, that's the crack anyways. I'm gonna get packed up. I have a pack of Jaffa cakes there to get me going until I get back to the car, but... Okay guys, so I'm all packed, ready to rock. All packed up and as always, leave no trace. My hands are frozen. My gear is soaked. Leave no trace. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna start making my way down now before I freeze to death. 
Okay guys, so I'm back at the car about an hour and 45 minutes later. I had to put the camera in the bag because I just wanted to get down as fast as possible, but I have the tent hanging up here, trying to air it out a bit just before I leave because I don't want it to be damp while it's in the car. Same with the sleeping bag. So that is the end of this video, this wild camp. But for now, signing off. TTYL, Life of Gurk. <laughs>